What's up everybody? So in a recent video we mentioned that Randy got a new job here in the Keys and today is actually her first day. I don't believe we mentioned what she's doing. A lot of people asked what she was doing in the comments. She is teaching again. So she's teaching here in the Keys. This is our boat now. Oh my god. <laughs> So today also marks the beginning of a lot more of me in these videos. Now Randy's not going to be totally left out, it's just that she's going to be working five days a week. So she'll be here when she's here to help out, but for the most part her job is to make the money so I can go spend it on boat projects. <laughs> <laughs> so for this week, the focus is going to be on sleep. We actually haven't been sleeping very well, and by not very well, I mean pretty dang badly. Our backs have been hurting pretty bad because the new salon cushions we've been sleeping on are actually too firm. Even though we ordered them with the impression that they'd be comfortable to sleep on, unfortunately, they're just not. Now we thought about redoing the cushions again and getting new foam for them. However, because they are comfortable to sit on, we decided that maybe it's come time that we just need to change our sleeping situation altogether. Redoing the cushions again would be more work that we really didn't plan on doing. However, we have been planning on moving our permanent sleeping area from the salon to the V-Birth. Now, we've been sleeping in the salon this past year mainly because we've been using the V-Birth as a storage closet, a garage, whatever you might call it. Basically, it's a bunch of stuff up there that is project related, that's not living related, and the goal was to kind of separate the living areas from the project areas and it's mainly for sanity and mental health. But yeah, that's kind of how we've been doing it and how we've been trying to separate work from living, even though it's really hard on such a small boat. But because these new cushions are so uncomfortable, uh, it's time to do something about our sleeping situation. So we're gonna move it up to the V-Birth and we're gonna have to do a couple things to make that possible. So this is currently what our V-Birth looks like. You can see that it's just filled with stuff from projects. Tools, equipment, supplies, you name it. Now it's been this cluttered up here since we got rid of the trailer. Even though we got rid of so much stuff that was in the trailer, this is just the excess stuff that we just really couldn't get rid of because we needed it for future projects. In order for us to start sleeping up here, two things need to happen. Obviously, all this stuff really needs to go somewhere that's not here and ideally somewhere that's not on the boat. And that's what's gonna happen. And number two, we need a surface to sleep on. We got rid of the old V-Birth cushions because they were just old and gross and uncomfortable anyway. So our new sleeping surface here is actually gonna be a memory foam mattress that we're going to cut basically into a triangle and slide it up here in the V-Birth. And I've got to take some measurements so I know what size mattress to get, but first I gotta get all this stuff out of here. Yesterday was a big day for us because we just got our truck back. We originally drove it up to Tennessee because that's actually where my brother lives and he was gonna hold on to it until we got done cruising. But since we're gonna be sticking around now and doing a lot of DIY boat work in the Keys, we figured it was dumb to keep it in storage. We might as well use it while we're still in the States. The truck is definitely useful because obviously it makes us more mobile, it makes doing DIY boat projects a little easier, and it gives us a little extra storage. That little extra storage perk is what we're gonna be utilizing today because I think all the stuff in the V-Birth I think I can kind of fit all that into the bed of the truck and it's got the tonneau cover over it so it should be perfect and once all of that's out we can start converting the V-Birth back into a real V-Birth and start sleeping up there so it's going to make living aboard way more comfortable. So I think that's enough rambling for now, let's actually get to work. Alrighty, step one, move everything to the salon so I can see what the heck I'm dealing with. I think this will all fit in the bed of the truck, I hope. So step two is going to be getting all this stuff to the truck. Now, I know I've tried this before, but it's worth another shot. It just doesn't seem to work like it does for other YouTubers. I really don't get it. I would say the dinghy's a little loaded down right now. This is actually my second trip in, and probably have two or three, maybe more trips. So it's exciting to get all this stuff out of the boat. Look, it all fits. That's pretty awesome. So 
So I'm actually very surprised that that all fit in there. Thank you, truck. You're very useful. As you guys can see, I've cleaned out the V-berth. I've actually went through and vacuumed everything, including the bottom, the raw fiberglass up here as well. I vacuumed all of that, and that really should be all the prep that's necessary for this paint right here. Now, this is the paint we've been using in all of our compartments where we've been painting raw fiberglass or previously painted fiberglass surfaces. And this paint is formulated for bilge areas. So it's formulated for painting areas that are typically oily and dirty and just old and gross. And even though this paint says that you really need to clean the surface with soap and water and sand it, it's not really that necessary. As long as it's relatively clean, this stuff is gonna stick. When we used this stuff for the motor compartment, we did clean and sand and do all the prep that it said on the can right here, and it worked out really well. And then I did a little experiment. I put this stuff in a locker without doing any prep whatsoever. All I did was just vacuum it. I didn't clean it, I didn't sand, I slapped on two coats and I let it dry. The cubby that I didn't do any prep on at all the paint was just as stuck there, just as adhered to the surface as it was in the areas in the engine compartment where I did the appropriate amount of prep. So because of that, I really like this stuff. It saves a lot of time if you're gonna be painting a surface that you don't really care about the finish, you just want it to be nice and bright white and easy to clean. This stuff is good for that. So inside cubbies, inside bilge areas, engine areas, uh, this stuff is some pretty good paint for that application. My only caveat is if you're going to be painting a bilge or an area that is excessively dirty and excessively oily, I would clean it to the best of your ability, but just know that this stuff, it's, it's good stuff. We really like it. And that's why we're going to be using it for all these fiberglass surfaces here. I'm not sponsored by Interlux or anything like that. We've just been using a lot of their products because they're pretty easy to use. You may be asking why I'm not first insulating and then putting in new panels to completely finish off this area. Well, the reason is that's gonna take a long time to do. That's probably about a week to two week project. Whereas just slapping on a couple coats of bilge coat is gonna make it look better and it's just like a day project. So it's gonna hold us over until we eventually do that because we do plan on insulating this and we do plan on adding new panels up here. We just don't wanna do it today. So. I figured it can't hurt to put this stuff on. It's gonna make it look better. It's gonna make it easier to clean if it does ever mold in here. But yeah, it's just gonna make it a nicer sleeping area for us until we finally do get to insulating everything, which we wanna get everything insulated by summer. So within the next couple months, we're gonna be doing the insulation project up here. And even though the insulation means we're gonna be covering up these painted surfaces, the paint is gonna help with the old boat smell. So I found that the more I use this paint and the more I paint with it, the less old boat smell there is in this boat. So it's just like that old fiberglass that's been saturated with 40 years of God knows what sense, you know? So um, getting that painted and getting a new, nice new coat over that uh, everywhere, it really makes a big difference. Alright guys, so you're looking at the first coat. First coat is always a little blotchy. The second coat looks a lot more even once I get done with it. One thing I want you guys to keep in mind is this is learning the lines. We're not striving for perfection here. We're only striving for, hey, that looks a little better than it did before. There you have it, that's two coats. So this stuff's pretty smelly, so I'm gonna go to shore and let this stuff dry for a few hours, and then probably I'll come back to the boat. I've got the windows open, everything's airing out. Hopefully by the time I get back, it won't be so smelly. But yeah, I probably shouldn't be without a respirator right now, so let me get going. Alrighty, so this just came in the mail today. It's a queen size memory foam mattress from Amazon, 200 bucks. 
and let's unroll it, see what we got. All right guys, so that's that. We got this mattress cover that's gonna go over the other mattress cover that came with it. So I'm just gonna put this back on and then that's like a hypoallergenic, waterproof mattress cover. And then it should be ready to just drop in the V-Birth. All right guys, so I think this V-Birth has come a long way in just a few days. It's certainly more functional, obviously, for sleeping. And it looks a little better than it did before. Look who it is, guys. <laughs> hey guys, sorry I've been MIA from this video, but definitely enjoy the hard work that Jordan's put into the V-Birth. It's so much more comfortable than the settees we were sleeping on in the salon. So definitely makes for a better night's sleep. Yep, and my back doesn't hurt anymore, so. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to have a little bit of comfort when you live on a boat. Yes. Honestly. <gasps> it's making me sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys have a V-Birth as well and have some old, uncomfortable cushions in it, I definitely recommend buying a memory foam mattress on Amazon and doing exactly what I did. Just cut it, put it in there, cover it with a mattress protector, put some new sheets on it. It's it's a different world now. Game changer. <laughs> it's a game changer. <laughs> so much nicer. But I think we're going to end the video right there. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to follow along with our journey. And if you want to know each and every time we upload a video, go ahead and hit that notification bell. See you guys. Bye. I've got it right and I got it wrong. But I learned my lesson.